What's up you guys my name is Micaiah and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here make sure you guys like comment subscribe and turn your post notifications so you'll be notified with every video I post I also make sure you guys follow me on all my social media platforms it will be in the description box below oh my gosh I haven't done a sit down video in ages like ages <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be doing a my top 10 advice for nursing students, LPN students, upcoming nursing students, period. Yeah, so this video was requested by somebody, uh, one of my followers on Instagram. So, and this was long overdue. I was been supposed to do this video. So now I was like, and I already had like what I was going to say and all that stuff. That was like my fault. Uh, before we get started, I do want to just talk about how my last semester went um, for my first half of my second semester, which was my mental health rotation. And if you guys watched my last vlog, I told you guys that I wanted to talk to you guys. It was going to be on another vlog, but I was just like, I just say it in this video uh, on what happened. I started my second semester, my first half of my second semester, which was mental health. Y'all, it was, it was actually, it was okay. Like the class was okay. So let me tell you guys how clinicals went and all that stuff. So whole, like my whole recap. So pretty much mental health was okay. Um, it was cool. Like the clinicals was, uh, was good. Um, got to like really like see in the flesh, like people with like mental health issues and stuff like that. Like I seen like a real schizophrenic person like alcohol abuse and stuff like that so it was really interesting to see i got to spoke with like one of the mental health doctors it's the mental health doctors <laughs> one of the mental health doctors and um i got to evaluate him and how he kind of does his one two when he does his evaluation on patients and it's like really cool to see like the doctors really have their own techniques on how to like make the client talk like more like kind of just kind of like roll with the flow and what they're talking about because some people can get off topic or just whatever whatever but i can see they have a technique to kind of get them to speak more or like share their thoughts or stuff like that so that was pretty interesting to see i only had two mental health clinicals so that was kind of just like you know it was cool like i didn't mind so but other than that um uh, mental health was good until it wasn't uh i think my first test i got like a um they're always at a 50 i know my first test i got about like a 35 i believe so i didn't pass my first test and then i really what really did it for me was my second test i got real bad score on it and then after that and it like a real bad score that really dropped my grade so i really had to work hard to get my grade back up so then i was getting like 40s that's what i thought i was getting like uh my third test was supposed to be was a 41 and then my final was i got a 41 out of 50 on my final so all the scores add up or whatever because on um, ivy tech you can kind of like calculate estimate guess your scores on what you need to pass the class y'all it was crazy so pretty much after every all the grace was put in and everything like that i passed the class with a 75 like and you gotta have a 75 to uh, pass so i'm thinking i'm good i got all my points i, I did just enough and then so my teacher, she she really did it for me. So, well, she really didn't do it for me. So next thing you know, while I'm thinking I'm passing, she goes in and changed her test three grade and it dropped my grade. So I did not pass. I have a 74 in the class. A 74. Like y'all don't know how pissed I was. I was so mad. Like it's different with not passing the class with like a 60 something. A 74 like why would and it's like and it was crazy because like why would you go change grades and stuff you thinking that's that you we thinking that's our test grade but why would you go changing grades on the last week and we're sitting here guest checking on making sure that okay this is what we need to pass the class and stuff like that so like that really blew me y'all like but it's okay mental health at my school mental health is is considered like a prereq it is not gonna like jeopardize you to not move forward so which is okay i did pass my clinical with an 89 i believe i got an 89 so that i don't have to do that so i do have to retake mental health and i just want to let you guys know like yes i did not pass farm on the first try mental health obviously on the first try but like i was close on mental health so i i really i don't care but it's okay y'all i told y'all i'm not really like i'm hands-on learner that's why i do so well in clinical but you catch me in the books i'm not the best at it so i'm really just kind of just giving you all the wrong cut of what it looks like in my brain because i'm really not 
a bookworm, a just lecture, like staying in lecture and like, oh, like trying to retain all that information is crazy to me. Like I have to be hands on. So that's why I like clinicals is my favorite because that's how I learn best. I don't learn the best when you just keep talking to me, talking to me, talking to me. I need examples. I need, but that's no excuse. I should have had a higher grade, but it's whatever, whatever. But like I said, I just want to just show you guys that this is my second class. I did not pass but it's okay. So my plan is, is to take mental health over the summer or take it in my second eight weeks of my uh, med search complex uh, courses, which is next semester. So we got that situated. Um, well, not really. I still got to kind of figure out what class I'm gonna do. Uh, I mean, figure out which campus I'm gonna do. And I'm since it's not gonna affect me kind of getting pushed back on my graduation date, I still can take med search. So I still have med search to take. Starting next week is med search. Med search two. So I'm nervous. But other than that, that was that was kind of like the little recap. It was just been crazy. I haven't been posting because of my computer. My I got water damage on my uh, MacBook, so I just got a new level MacBook. So now I get to edit. Uh, I'm doing a new editing software, really CapCut. I'm editing on my YouTube videos on CapCut now, and I really do like it. I feel like I got a lot more than iMovie, like a lot more stuff than iMovie. So yeah, if y'all can tell, kind of like my first video was edited through CapCut. Um, what else? But other than that, that's really it like nothing crazy like just shit just happened and that's why i didn't wasn't posting and all that stuff i was just really trying to focus and stuff like that other than the recap let's get into this top 10 advice for nursing students so the first advice is obviously just make sure you stay on top of your work it's so easy to fall behind in school because you know i for me i procrastinate real bad so i easy for me to fall behind because it's like I always want to work my hardest the, like on the last minute on Sunday Saturday and stuff like that I'm telling y'all getting your shit done early does knock off some stress out in your life during nursing school getting your shit done early okay so that's really like top of the line number one advice just get your shit done early that will help you not stress so much so you can have so much time to study and tip number two is study daily and i'm giving you guys this advice because this is the stuff i need to be doing as well and i know i need to be doing because some of the stuff i do but some of the stuff i don't but i know i need to do so this is just like real life for real good advice but make sure you guys study daily two hours minimum like study for two hours minimum um that will get you guys far um retain that material and all that stuff especially if you are like you have difficulty retaining information and a lot of information at once like me I have to kind of keep kind of going over material and stuff and passes questions and all that stuff um we do ATI or course porn and stuff like that do the precious questions prep use and stuff like that that will help you um and kind of get an idea of what your teacher might ask you on your test with those type of questions when you do ATI practice questions and prep you uh, practice questions tip number three is get to test days early Oh my gosh. So since I live far away, this is like one of the hardest things for me is to get to class early because I already got to drive an hour and 40 minutes to get to school. It's hard to already get up. It's hard to get up earlier as is, but even to get up even more earlier, just to kind of like make sure I'm there early is hard. I'm a, I'm working on it, but it's really hard because like test any other day, I kind of get there about five minutes early at the earliest. And I kind of want to do a little earlier because sometimes we, we take our test right at nine. Like, all right, it's time to take our test. So you do need that time to kind of like regroup and like kind of do kind of study before like you go in and take a test like that gives you some time to kind of just really regroup and relax and it's really hard for me it is hard for me y'all because i just drive so far so but this is what i recommend is to get to test dates early like it's i just know it's just so much benefits to it just advice number four i think i'm on number four now is to eat breakfast that's just give you just energy throughout the day and i don't eat breakfast in the morning why well, try to eat something light like a granola bar or a smoothie or something like that make sure i'm just drinking even water like just make sure you have something in your system before you get to school that's just kind of just giving you some type of energy some sort of energy okay <laughs> and then you just won't be hungry until like you got lunch or something but yeah just make sure you guys eat breakfast tip number five and this is one of my hardest tips too that i struggle with as well is sleeping early before class so if y'all don't know that i am a night shifter so when you're a night shifter you're most likely a night owl so you be up 
all night. I struggle with falling asleep early, trying to go to sleep early. I really force myself to um, if I know I got school in the morning, but like usually I only get about like four hours of sleep before class and that is not good because I will literally, I know I kind of, if it's a long lecture, I doze off kind of just like I can feel myself dozing off. It's just crazy. I'm trying. I know it's going to be hard. And I know for like the night shift people, I know that's going to be hard to go to sleep early. But that's beneficial as well just to get the sleep. And that's for your energy purposes too. Because that's something I lack during nursing school is my energy. And um, I just don't have enough of it. Like that's, I mean, in clinical, when I start moving around and stuff like that, that's okay, cool. But just sitting in lecture, I can't retain information when I'm tired. Like I'm tired in lecture, like all the time. I don't know what it is. I feel like, feel like me living far from my school really messes with my energy. My focus in school is sometimes um, sitting in lecture. So I do want to switch campuses and see if I'm going to find where someone closer. But I feel like that's, that's going to push me back in my cohort to graduate and I just don't want to do that and plus like I'm already comfortable with the people I'm with like then I have to make whole new people like friends and like it's just it's it's just a lot but we're going to talk about that because I got advice on like friends too while I'm in nursing school okay tip number six is to ask questions in school I can be shy in school sometimes like asking questions like because I don't want people to feel like hey, why is she asking like a I don't know like a stupid question which your question is not stupid but still this is for like shy people who really just don't like to be so vocal in class and i will at least ask people privately or something like that like i that's why i'm saying like privately on what the teacher meant or something like that if you don't want to kind of be so like what did you mean by that or something like that like explain it like because sometimes it do make you feel like like i just didn't understand what you were saying and I feel like sometimes me asking questions in class i don't know just i don't I feel like I'm just drawing attention to myself and just like, I don't know, like, it's just weird. So this is for like the shy people that really just don't like to be so vocal in class. I will ask people privately on what the teacher meant because you know who do pretty good in the class and stuff like that. Just, just ask them questions because I know they'll be more likely to help you. Tip number six is to be observant of other nursing students and do not get involved in drama. See who are the people that are in drama. So like I said, I'm in the class with a lot of girls and um, for the most part it's it's cool or whatever, but sometimes when you're in a class with a lot of girls, there will be kind of cattiness and drama and just weird stuff going on. And you just, just making sure just stay out the mix of all that. Like do not be be known as the drama caddy girl in the school like in our in your cohort like just do not be one of those girls like with me our my thing is we did this one thing um everybody wrote something around one word about you and stuff like that i'm gonna see it. if i got a picture i'm gonna post it on here people have one word to describe something about you and mine's just kind of just like real kind of just low-key vibes like i just the whole thing was just giving me like, i'm just very like to myself low-key kind of vibes and i like that Thank you that you think of me like that, okay? I don't want to be in the mix. I don't want to be catty. All I'm doing is trying to learn and go home. Like, that's like, you should be your move. Just stay away from the girls who just talk, 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 drama, drama, drama. Oh, stay away from the teachers, pets, like, who just be all up on her, the teacher. Just kind of on some weird stuff. Just stay away from those girls. Kind of really just be, find your group of people. Because I don't say, like, don't have friends in nursing school. Just find a cool group of people and just stick with them promise tip number eight this is me personally but i don't be sharing your test scores with everybody you could do it with your close friends or whatever but like don't be sharing your test scores with like everybody people be so nosy like what you get what you get what you get like like there's none of your business like i wouldn't tell you good or bad like just i don't know this is something with me i don't really like to share my test scores with people um, and then people start to judge you, especially if you do bad or probably ain't smart. She this and that. I don't know. Just people just, I just don't want people to have no type of judgment towards about me or whatever, whatever. So good or bad, I, I won't even want to share my test scores unless it's like my close knit group. That's who I will share my test scores with because there's so much supporting. Like I don't need that fake energy or fake love or whatever, whatever. Oh, congrats. And I'm not saying that's just everybody, but that's just my little thing of me i just don't want people in my business like that on what i got on the test or whatever like so that's just like my little thing y'all don't have to follow that that's kind of just like a bonus tip 
Tip number 10. I actually have a one another tip, so it's gonna be 11 of the tips, but tip number 10. If you guys need some extra like learning time or just like, I don't understand what my teacher was saying, so I need to kind of get like another example from a different teacher. I'm gonna give you guys two YouTubers that I watch that I get my information from um, if I still need some more learning time. And that is Level Up RN and um, <sighs> Level Up RN and it's the old girl. She got the old girl with the like the country accent. I'm gonna put her on the screen as well. Her and Level Up RN, they are really good. They got a lot of information, a lot of videos on like whatever. I'm telling y'all, like they are really good and they can break it down to you and stuff like that. So and then you can always rewind it and like if you don't understand, trying to like try to get yourself to understand when you rewind it. Those are gonna be my two top girls on YouTube. Um, but if you guys got some other people that y'all recommend um for like extra learning time or they can break down the material better, please let me know in the comments. But those are those two that I mainly kind of watch if I still need some more like um, information about something. And then my last tip of nursing students, um, you guys are going to be learning dosage calc, administering medication, stuff like that, how much to give and all that stuff like that. So you guys got to know that that's just like essential. Um, so with practicing dosage calc, make sure you guys kind of just practice that on a weekly basis. Um, I don't want to have to say every day, but at least set yourself aside for like once or twice a week to do some dosage calc practice. That's gonna help you guys in the long run. Learning you guys' uh, measurements, and just going through a Quizlet, just doing those weekly too, just so they can stay fresh in your mind. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a link down below on some dosage calc practice. Um, you guys can just practice on just on a regular, unless your teacher gave you some resources on where to practice dosage calc at, but I recommend doing that and all that like weekly. To at least twice a week just to keep that shit refreshed in your mind okay because it's easy to forget how to do it i'm telling y'all it will especially like after a break or something you come back you become be like is this right the, the dimensional analysis is this right like is this supposed to go this this unit supposed to go here like i'm telling you, keep keep practicing that dose cap all right you guys that is it i was really kind of rushing because i do gotta work but eh, but yeah that is it for my top 10 advice um for new nursing students and current nursing students or whatever um overall just have fun during nursing school i know it's gonna be stressful but try to make the most fun out of it um especially with like friends making friends and stuff like that y'all all gonna be stressed out together you guys can vent together that's kind of what makes it like more fun because you, you have people that can relate to you in your pain and trauma and suffering <laughs> like literally you're not gonna be stressed forever it's gonna just be until your program's over and then what you're a nurse you're in so that's what i'm trying to look at the it's not gonna be a long term like just get it over with i think that's like what i keep telling myself because i'm telling y'all i'm so over school it's not even funny like I just want to go to work and go home like I'm ready to live that life like I'm sick of worrying about assignment a class and stuff like that so you guys are with me let me know like this video if you with me I'm just not a school girly like I'm really forcing myself to be literally I'm not a school girl all right you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video